Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and a few days ago I uploaded a new type of video on my channel which was the ranking video where I ranked the best video game consoles in my opinion and you guys seem to enjoy it so I'm here with another ranking video where I am going to rank the existing Call of Duty games uh, maybe not the recent MV3 and MV2 but uh, we do have a lot of them here as you can see on the screen and we have the uh, GOAT tier, pretty good, mid, stinker and L because yeah they've had a lot of bad ones um, in my opinion but we are starting off with Call of Duty 4 uh, because that's basically when I started to play Call of, du Call of Duty um, and I don't know for me this game is pretty good because I played it quite a lot and uh, that's for sure uh, we played it a lot on our school computer uh, at school um, so it was a mainstream game but uh, I don't know for me it it's only pretty good and not go that it doesn't hit the same as the Modern Warfare 2 game because that's goaded and uh, that's the era when uh, trick shooting war uh, a part of the community and I don't know Modern Warfare 2 it was just perfect the storyline was so good the multiplayer was so good uh, I think that you had the spec ops uh, like offline um, objective game mode and that was so good as well and I feel like uh, Modern Warfare 1 just didn't have uh, the complete package but it was still pretty good. Next up we have Call of Duty World at War. Uh, to me that's just a mid. I didn't really play that much. Uh, I played it a few times and I mean I, this was the first Call of Duty uh, with zombies uh, and it was okay. I didn't really enjoy the gameplay. Uh, I really liked the Call of Duty 4 more. Um, so that's to me, it's just mid. Um, and after, or it was, yeah, Call of Duty 4, World at War, Modern Warfare 2, and then we have the first Black Ops. I mean, yeah, it, it really needs to be goaded because that one was so good as well. I did play that quite a lot, not as much as I played Modern Warfare 2, but yeah, I mean, that was the time when uh, they released a proper zombie mode, uh, in my opinion. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops had the best zombie mode, uh, and the easter eggs and uh, things like that. I really like the maps as well, especially Nuketown, that's, that's probably one of the best. Um, but yeah, and then we had Modern Warfare 3. Which, I mean, is it above Call of Duty 4? I think so. For me, it's above Call of Duty 4. And that's because I played Modern Warfare 3 way more. Uh, I prestiged a lot. And I did get a lot of golden camos on the guns. And I don't know, I feel like the maps on the MV3 were so good. Um, and... They had a, I think that it was a new game mode that was called uh, Infected, uh, which was really fun. And I remember that they had to, they had, so, they had to release new updates so many times because you could always find a spot on the map where you could just hide and just throw a throwing knife and get a mob. Uh, so yeah, yeah, Modern Warfare 3, that's, that was a pretty good one. And then we have Black Ops 2, that I didn't play as much. I, I wasn't really for the Black Ops series, um, it wasn't really my type of uh, game style. Um, so I think that this will have to go to pretty good as well, because uh, I mean the zombies were awesome. Um, so yeah, um, what do we have here? And then I 
actually lost the order in how the games were released so I'm just gonna go by the how I feel like <laughs> actually um, so we have Black Ops 3 that I pre played that one quite a lot as well but I think that that is it is above world at war um, if I remember correctly Black Ops 3 was the time they in, they released the that you could fly around uh, almost uh, all the time which was not something I enjoyed and then we have Infinite Warfare which is going to stinker I haven't really played it um, but from what I've heard and the amount of hate the uh, trailers got and yeah I think that we can say that it was a stinker and so was the, the it was the same thing with this the advanced warfare it just didn't hit the same with the Call of Duty games uh, with these two uh, it was something wrong with them and uh, the gameplay didn't feel great and yeah I think that I actually I'm actually going to move them to L uh, because yeah they were pretty hated um, and then we have Call of Duty Ghost which is a stinker I mean it did look great and uh, from what I've heard it also one of the issues were that you could like die instantly um, that's just what I've heard uh, I haven't really played that game that much but it was nothing that like got me excited so I am putting it on stinker and then we have Call of Duty Call of Duty Black Ops 4 yeah uh, that actually even though I didn't really like uh, the flying part of the Black Ops series uh, this one is uh, pretty good I feel like uh, the maps were pretty awesome in these and also the um, the weapons the guns that you, you got were pretty good as well uh, so the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 was pretty good and I played the zombies so much on these I really enjoyed the zombie maps the easter eggs and everything the story they were so good uh, so I really like that one uh, and then we have Call of Duty World at War 2 um, World at War no what am I saying World War 2 uh, this was the Call of Duty I turned back uh, to. I didn't play Call of Duty for a few years, so when this one was announced I got really excited because I finally got a game <coughs> that was uh, that you, don't, you didn't fly and you didn't have the crossbows and stuff like that. So I, uh, I, I liked that game. Uh, it was nice and cool, but uh, I don't think that it's better than a mid and I don't think that it's better than uh, Black Ops 3 so it will have to go in the mid off the mid <laughs> and then last but not least we have the new Modern Warfare or not the new the or the new Modern Warfare 1 if you want to call it that way with Warzone and I played this game so much. I both I did play both the Warzone a lot and this Modern Warfare game. Um, and I really enjoyed it uh, because it felt like the old times. The maps were good. They also added some of the old maps, and uh, but the maps were really good, and the servers were decent as well. Um, and yeah, I don't know, the weapons were also so cool and the layout for the uh, menu and all the, all of that stuff, the graphics were, I'm, I don't know, this game was on point. So actually I will, I am putting it in GOAT and I am putting it above Black Ops 1. Because yeah, I, I don't know, I really like the Modern Warfare series. The, both the old one and not really it's not really the same in the new one because I haven't played the Modern Warfare 3 that was released last year 
uh, and the main reason to that is I would have put that in uh, L because uh, the only thing they did was just I mean that game is basically a DLC they re-released every Modern Warfare 2 map uh, with improved graphics and stuff like that but it, overall the game is just the same you get just new weapons and I don't think that they updated the menu either so I think that game is just a DLC uh, so I didn't try it but I did play the Modern Warfare 2 and that was fine for a while I enjoyed it uh, as well so but yeah this is the tier list um, feel free to disagree with me and if you do let me know in the comment section down below um, and yeah if you enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one bye